Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this Unity video we're going to be covering how you can get a head start on menu building using what's called the Game Jam template uh, by the official Unity team. And you can pick this asset up in the Asset Store, naturally. Uh, just search in a Game Jam template or menu screen, it's completely free, and you should be able to find it and bring it into your game fairly easily. In this case, I've gone ahead and moved it into my plugins directory. Uh, the same with anything else I'm importing just for organizational purposes. So uh, when you get the package, the main thing you need to worry about is going to be the prefabs in here. So you can see I've already attached this UI prefab to the game and I'm in a new scene now. This is the main menu screen because by default this menu screen, um, well, it has a game title screen. Now, uh, you can of course remove components you don't like from this if you need to, uh, but in this case when we go play the game, it's going to have this screen. We hit start and this title screen fades out. You can of course modify that to be something different, like when you hit start you switch to a different screen. But uh, beyond just the game title screen, it's also got an options panel screen, a pause panel screen, which are actually remarkably similar. Um, and then just a couple other game objects here, which are for controlling things like the fading. So let's go ahead and hit play, get into game, and just show you basically the defaults for this game jam template. Okay, so uh, as you can see, there's basically music by default. I'm going to go ahead and mute that, because, um, <laughs> well, I don't want to have to talk over that, obviously. Uh, I did uh, actually change the anchor points on the positioning of this to make it centered, um, just for more readability here. Uh, but we have three buttons here. Start, which will make this fade out and theoretically would start the game, but you would have to attach more scripts to it. The options panel, which if you open it up has its own separate panel and by opening it up it closes the previous one so you only have one menu screen open at once, uh, ideally. It's got a music volume slider, an effects volume slider, and a back button. Now, um, with the music volume and the effects volume, it's one thing to set the value in the slider, but it's another thing to have to reference it throughout your game. So, uh, what we actually have in Unity, and you can find it in Window, Audio Mixer. Uh, you do have to create an Audio Mixer component, but there's already one attached to the Game Jam template package. So here it's called the Master Mixer. If I go ahead and open that up in Audio Mixer, you'll see some pretty cool settings here. So the Master Mixer is referenced throughout these game objects when you want to set some settings or you want to get the value of the settings. Um, so for instance, the Options panel there, I would imagine if we drill down and we actually look at the slider here, it's going to say set audio levels. So let's just go over to the pause panel and you can see here, yeah, it's referencing the master mixer object, which we have stored in the project. So if you've ever used a video editing tool, then you probably have seen mixers something like this. So we have the master audio level, the sound effects level, and the music level. Uh, you could have a third slider for uh, basically master volume. Um, I'm not actually sure how this got set at negative three or exactly what's controlling it, but the sound effects and the music volumes, those are being set by those options menu in game. So if we go back into the game, and let's try to do it without maximize on play so that we can still see our audio mixer down here. Okay, so make sure we have that opened up. We can see the audio levels for the game. Uh, though it's not actually playing because we did mute the audio. So in options, uh, and, and you can see this game jam template, it's not flawless. You will have to make some adjustments. It's, uh, I imagine, based on the name, it's something they made during game jam, which is like a 48 hour thing. But if we set the music volume, you can see it immediately updates over here in the mixer. And as for the effects volume as well, we have that same thing going on there. So basically, the mixer controls the audio levels for your entire game. And if we go to the UI main game object, we can see for the audio source, uh, this intro music, it's outputting through the music channel of the master mixer. So by setting this up, either the sound effects or the music, and having those be controlled by the options menu, you can control the volume of all the sound effects in your game or all of the music in your game very simply. And that's 
basically how you should be doing it within Unity. So keep that in mind, audio mixers are the way to go. So beyond that, we do also have the pause menu, which uh, we can trigger once we've actually started the game. So I'll go ahead, hit start, you can see it fades that out, but as soon as I hit escape, it pauses the game. It looks a lot like the options menu and it basically is the same thing, except we have uh, basically a game paused up here at the top, a quit button, and we still have a resume button instead of a back button. So if we want to quit the game, we can hit that and that will exit the game. If we were running the executable, that would close out the program and we'd be back at our desktop screen, assuming you're running Windows. So as you can see, this Game Jam template is more or less a lot of what we covered in the last video, plus a couple extra things. And you can just drop it into your game, get a head start. And uh, obviously it's meant to be customized. We have solid white backgrounds and a very boring font and it looks ugly and it doesn't fit every screen size ideally but i think the game jam template is probably where you want to go if you want a head start and you don't want to have everything be customized from the ground up um i mean honestly you, you can get pretty close to that anything you see here you can just go ahead and customize so there's really no reason not to use something like this and uh, that's one of the reasons I like looking in the asset store in general. You can find some pretty cool free stuff and paid stuff as well uh, that can give you a boost in getting your project off the ground. So just wanted to showcase that for you guys. Hope you find it useful. Once again, it's the Game Jam template in the asset store. And yes, it is free. I've been Chris. Thank you guys for watching this Unity video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my future video content.